Congratulations, you were bold enough to click on that title. Let me tell you why you clicked on that title, because secretly you want to know what a wet willy is. Now, you may be thinking of a wet willy, but that's not what a wet willy is in my world. So, I'm going to show you what my wet willy is. Well, I don't have personally a wet willy, but <laughs> let me take that back. This video is going to be loaded with double entendres, so just go with it, okay? I'm going to show you what my wet willy is. I'm going to show you what I can do with it, and you're going to be so happy you watched. So let me get started. Let me introduce you to my wet willy. Here is wet willy. He is actually a basting brush. Got him off Amazon, and I love this guy. These little flame-shaped ticklers here, <laughs> woohoo! Uh, they create some really cool cells for some reason. So I'm going to do something with this. What? I don't know. I'm gonna just kind of throw the paint on the canvas and go with the flow, literally. And then I'm going to show you a close-up of how magnificent it is. And then I'm gonna show you another painting where I did the canvas half black, half white, and did something similar. So let me explain first and foremost, my colors are all artist loft paints that are mixed with artist loft pouring medium. All of my colors, except for the white that I'm using, have two drops of spot on silicone in them. Now I'm going to put the link for this and the silicone in the description of this video. Please do not be afraid to use silicone. You can create some fantastic, unique art by using it. And it is not hard to clean no matter what you've heard. And as a matter of fact, when acrylic pouring first started becoming popular on YouTube, everyone used it. So don't be afraid. It's a, a really fun thing to use and it is easy to clean. I have the perfect video. I'm going to put it in the description for you. So with all that being said, let's play with Mr. Wet Willie. I've gone ahead and already put the white paint on the canvas. Now the recipe will be in the description for you. I'm going to plop this right in the center here like that. This is a, uh, you take a, fa fa a fajita and you fold it over or push it in and you bake it and then you pull it out and you have a taco bowl. That's what that is. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with some white paint. Again, all of the paints except for the white are mixed with a little bit of silicone. You want to leave one or two colors without the silicone so they it can react against the paint that doesn't have it in there, okay? So I'm going to do the rainbow here for you. And I think I'm going to start off with purple. Blue and green. Then you have to be very careful when you're doing something like a rainbow. You don't want to put purple and orange next to each other because they will muddy easier. So what I like to do is I either like to separate colors by adding white in between them, or I like to put colors together that make secondary colors, such as blue and yellow will make green. So because I have green here, I'm gonna put yellow. A little bit of blue. And then what I could do is I could put in some red because the blue and the red will make purple and the blue and the yellow will make green. So that's a way to not muddy stuff up. We'll put a little more white in and I notice it's going off to one side. So let me zip my lip and concentrate. Not that that's ever possible. <laughs> let me put in some of this orange. I'm not really a fan, of, a fan of orange, unless you're doing a palette that's like brown or 
golds, bronzes. So I'm just going to repeat the colors until I feel like I have enough paint on the canvas. How do you know enough paint is enough? I cannot tell you that. I can tell you how much to cover a canvas, but when it comes to adding the colors, I kind of just guess. All right, so we'll let that drain down. Give it some time. The taco bowl proves quite challenging to pick up when it's wet. <laughs> uh, it's quite the slippery sucker, I'll say that. So let's pick her up. Just like that. Yeah, I made a kind of cool flower. I'm sure you could do a flower uh, dip with a napkin if you wanted to. But hey, we have a wet willy to play with, so I ain't got no time for napkins. Let's just torch this up. Move these paints too, because Lord knows I'm a klutz. Two things I need to do always. Remove the paints out of the way and watch where my knockers go because they usually end up dipping into my painting. <laughs> and that's pretty cool. So, it's time for Mr. Wet Willie. Now at first, this is not gonna look impressive. You have to wait until the cells develop to see the true potential. All right, so what I'm going to do, I think, is first, I'm going to pull these half out. I'm going to go this way. Just pouncing it on the table. That was a lame swipe. <laughs> We're going to do this guy. Much better. We're going to have to tilt it. Like I said, I'm just kind of going with the flow and playing around. Because sometimes you just need to do that in order to maintain sanity. So... This is what we're doing. If you want to rinse it off in between passes, you can. It's silicone, it comes right off. Just make sure you dry it really, really well, okay? Wow, you should see the cells over here. I cannot wait to show you these. Now this is not going to be the design of the painting after I tilt it. I wanted to go more full coverage with this painting and just get some really pretty cells, some vibrant cells in the rainbow theme, which I'm pretty sure I achieved. Just make sure you stay to the end of the video because the outcome is totally different than what you're seeing right now. Here is a sponge from the Dollar Tree. Came in a three pack. I'm gonna cut it into thin pieces. Just like this and then I'm going to use it to kind of pull some paint in out around up and down whatever I feel I want to do why a sponge you say because why not a sponge <laughs> 
Why not a sponge? It's fun. It creates texture in the painting, different textures than a palette knife would. All right, we're just going to play around with it a little bit here and zhuzh things up. Maybe we'll even take this yellow part off since it wants to be a jerk and ruin my day right now. And we'll just use the sponge inside. Sponge too, you, cause you can uh, squish up and do all kinds of funky things with. I'm going to have to explore this sponge painting a little bit more because it was making some really nice uh, contours and really uh, was easy to use. So I'm going to have to explore that a little bit more. But now I'm just using a palette knife to pull out more of the color. Again, I'm going to be tilting this. I'm going to be changing the whole look. The whole point of the video was kind of just to distress put my hands in some paint and have some fun with it. The one thing I notice about Artist's Loft pouring medium and silicone is it takes longer for the cells to develop than with other paints, but when they do develop, they are unlike other cells. It, it's just, you got to give it a little time. They morph into these fantastic looking creatures and Trust me, you want to try it once. And it's also cheaper than Liquitex pouring medium. So now after I've tilted it all down towards the bottom of the canvas, I'm going to add some color in and swipe. So let's just go like this. Pull it out. Watch this one area. Watch this area right here. Look at that. Now, I'm going to finish swiping. Then I'm going to torch the whole thing. Actually, you know what? I'll torch the whole thing first and then swipe to the areas where I want to add a little more color in. So here we go. When you use a torch to achieve cells, you want to just hover over the surface with the flame. You don't want to penetrate the surface with the flame. You just want to use the heat of the flame to bring that silicone up to the top. You can do this with a heat gun too. You do not need a torch, but you're going to see them slowly start to rise. Okay, they're slowly starting to come out. So I'm going to use this area with the white to swipe over some areas that may be a little dull. So I'm just adding some more color into the areas that I wanted it to go into. I felt like I wanted minimal around the edge and like this beautiful rainbow bursting out of the center. This painting for some reason is very odd on camera because looking at it on a screen is totally different than what you see when I do a close up. So while it may not look impressive right now, 
I want you to stay till the end so that you can see exactly what I was ooing and eyeing over. So what I'm doing is I'm putting color onto the canvas and then on the back of my palette knife, I'm using some white paint and I'm just swiping it over those colors. That white paint is the same paint I used on the base, which was uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White mixed with Artist Loft Pouring Medium. Water, no silicone. Okay, so we have this big splash of color. Let me just show you how pretty this is. The next scene of this video, the black one, I got my crazy eyeball cells and my, <laughs> my nipple cells that I get from uh, Mr. Wet Willie over there. So not too many here, though. I, I really overworked it. I, ha I was forced to, but I'm very happy with the outcome. I love, love, love. Oh, here's a few. So I can show you, like, see this one right here? He makes these really cool designs. And like I said, you'll see more of them coming up in the next minute here. But there's one there. A little screaming face uh, right here like a tiki face there we go with the faces again in my paintings we got some cat weird caterpillar spine looking areas and I don't know I just love playing with the things so hey it may not be for everybody but I sure do like it Anything that I could do. Oh, look at that. Right there. Perfect nipple. <laughs> hey, and I didn't end up putting my own into the painting this time, so that's a plus. Anyway, let's move on. Let me show you the next painting. So this is just going to be a quick little time lapse. I'm just doing the same exact thing, except... I wanted to do a black and white base. Now, whenever you use black and white together and you do something like I'm going to be doing today with running a brush through it, you're going to end up with a lot of gray because you're not keeping those two colors separate. But uh, it's fine. The, the painting turned out really pretty. Lots of cool cells. I used the same rainbow colors and the same mixtures. So I just wanted to show you just another variation of it, essentially. Again, when I swipe these colors on screen, it looks muddy, but it's not muddy. It's the black and white creating gray. And when you see the close up, you're going to see that it's totally not muddy at all. I cannot tell you how much fun I have with this stupid brush. <laughs> it's just, it's just so fun to like not care, we'll say, about the piece of art and just explore like different techniques maybe that you can come up with or, you know, just relaxing. I have this thing that I do sometimes and I'm going to be doing one pretty soon where I just take a canvas, I take some paint and I literally throw it at the canvas and I try to make something out of it. And it's just a great feeling to just do something as simple as that. When you suffer with depression, you have to find ways to make yourself feel better. As some of you know, I suffer from depression and this just really takes me out of my head and into a happy place. So I bet you thought my wet willy was making mud, but I'm going to tell you right now, 
It does not. Now, of course, when you blend black and white together, you're going to get some gray. But look at these vibrant colors. I'm telling you, this thing never fails me. It creates some really pretty magical effects. But check out those cells. Yeah, buddy. And of course, I still got some nipples right there. We've got a hefty little wreck looking right at us. <laughs> we got some eyes. Yeah. And you know, the thing is, is that although I use silicone, if you do a paint pour with uh, silicone in the paints, and just like do a flip cup or whatever you're doing. You don't get the same like crazy looking cells that you do when you use this brush. I don't know what it is about it, but you know, even over here, let me show you. We have an actual face, a fish eyes and the mouth. <laughs> I know, I'm losing it. <laughs> Whenever I put my hand on my wet willy, <laughs> that's what seems to happen. <laughs> this area is pretty cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just cracking myself up here. I love my wet willy. It is three days later. It's still a little wet in the center, so... Um, I'm just going to give you a close-up now. You can see the edges there, they're dry. Just so you can see that it's drying fine. It'll dry fine. Uh, my eyes are still there. My little face right there in the corner. My little fish face. <laughs> and I was noticing some things uh, when I was showing you the close-up of this. And I almost lost it. I said, how did I not notice that when I was showing the set of boobs there at the bottom that I had two penises poking out over here? Uh, bing, bing. <laughs> With a whole bunch of eyeballs looking at them like there's eyeballs everywhere. <laughs> so look at, I mean, look at that face, <laughs> a little fish face. I'm telling you that brush is just crazy, the things that it does. But anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, the other painting, I'm going to show you that one. That one's not dry either. It's got a little wet spot in the middle. I always get a good laugh out of doing paintings with silicone because uh, the images can be quite disturbing sometimes. <laughs> this one's really cool too. You could display it multiple ways. You could display it like that. Like this could be cool. The other way. And it's funny because when you look at it from afar, it almost, it looks muddy in areas, but it's not. Like up here, it looks muddy, but it's really not. It's just the colors. The orange there with the white mixed in it, a little bit of green. This is super cool. All the I like all the different colors. And once the resin hits it, it will just really be so vibrant. Again, I will show you that in my next video. I'm going to put a couple of screenshots at the end of this of the cool images that were in this, these paintings. Because when I was showing them to you the first time, I didn't see them. But after I went back and watched, I saw all these crazy looking things. So I'll definitely include some screenshots for you. So thank you, my friends, for joining me today. I hope you got a good laugh out of this. Let me tell you something. You cannot be serious about this all the time. Yes, you want to produce beautiful art. Yes, if you sell, you want to be able to sell it. You know, you want to take it serious. But sometimes you just have to have some fun with it. 
And that's what I try to do in these types of videos is, is I try to translate that, you know, you can have some fun. Don't care so much about the outcome. Just have some fun with it. Go with the flow. Get yourself a wet willy and go to town. <laughs> right there. That looks like a life-like eye almost. Like the pupil and holy cow. That is crazy. All right, I'm going to stop now. I'm going to say adieu. And I'm also going to tell you, I love you all. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And have a fantastic weekend. And happy pouring. Music